previously on Lion Moms. So this project, I know what it's about. Okay. I met with the project representative at the event yesterday. Your point being? I want you to join me in this. Because I've been in there. And then you got Dude, out? Oh, come on. Why are you talking to me like I'm your downline? Miss Chiang, meet my husband, K.P. Ho. You know I'm allergic to paracetamol. What, just because I asked for a different kind of medicine? You knew all along. Wait, wait! Why didn't you clean up after yourself? I was tired. That's no excuse. It's okay. I can do it. Kai, don't you think you should clean up your own bed? She's already doing it. What's for breakfast? Mum, just get him his breakfast. Please. Hey, they caught the guy who robbed the house across the street. Says he'd just been released from prison. Once a thief, always a thief. Kai, people change. You say so. Look, people make mistakes. But that doesn't mean they don't deserve a second chance, right? You know what? Maybe you should clean this up by yourself. But you just said that. I said clean up your mess. I can't say goodbye to the feeling I've hit the ceiling one more time. Keep aiming high, always reaching for the sky. The skies, day and night, reaching higher and higher. It feels like flying. Don't it? Why? Dirty socks belong in the laundry basket. Naughty sock. Mm -hmm. How did you end up there? Mm? How? Okay. This is not about my sock. What's wrong, Sam? Come, tell me. I, I don't understand her. Who? Mean! You know, this Project Greenleaf is the perfect platform for me to raise my candidate profile. And she's the perfect person to front it. And yet, she doesn't want to have anything to do with it. Okay, I can sort of understand that. She just wants to put the whole thing behind her. But how is that even possible when technically she's still serving her sentence? And do I need to remind everyone that she's only out of prison because of this job that I've given her? Sayang, I'm sure she's very grateful to you. Well, she has the funny way of showing it. Sayang, please. Try to bear in mind that she's one of your best friends, okay? Precisely, and that's exactly why I want her to get involved. Fine, I might not know what she went through, but I feel like it'd be better for her to just face it head on, you know? She just needs a bit of a push. Okay. Just don't go in guns a blazing. Good morning! Um, what's the occasion? Just something to sweeten up my friend's day. Morning. Hey, just in time. There, cupcakes for you, Chi. <laughs> the last time you brought something, you wanted me to work on the weekend. Hey, so these cupcakes are coated with bribery? <laughs> <laughs> mean, how is Kai? The usual, uh, Mr. Chitty Chatty with everyone. But when it comes to me, it's like someone told him he would win a prize if he uses three words or less. It'll get better. Um, I've got a confession to make. So, these cupcakes do come with a price. I knew it. 
So all my case files need to be put in a new folder and reorganized in the filing cabinets. I know, I know it's tedious, but can you do it for me, please? Of course. Uh, but I'm taking my bribe with me. Take my too. Hey. Oh, and Min, can you help me make copies of this as well? It's for my meeting later. No problem at all. Thank you. We have a meeting at 10 o'clock with Mr. Lee. What's this? Hashtag challenge. How is this even a challenge? Oh, I thought boot camp was bad. Gen Z is just brutal. So the MD makes some disparaging remarks about this smaller, lesser-known competitor, and she's getting sued. Yep. Hi. Hey. Uh, here are the copies you wanted. Thank you. And I hope you don't mind, but I had a quick look, and I have some thoughts. Yeah, sure. Please share. Are uh, you okay, Jane? Oh, just need to pee again. But I thought you just went to the bathroom. I can help. Me, go on. So I did a little digging on the competitor and it turns out the company is not doing well at all. In fact, they are on the verge of bankruptcy. Then you'll be hard to sue on the basis of loss of profit due to those remarks. Exactly. I think this is just a weak attempt to get some quick cash. And I think there's more to this. I found some photos on social media of the MD and the competitor together. They know each other socially, so the MD could have been provoked or something. It seems personal and I think the plaintiff has a weak case. Well done. Good job. Thank you. This is exactly the kind of dynamism Project Greenleaf needs. It'll be such a waste of talent if you don't come on board, you know? You're definitely politician material. Uh, how did we get from the case back to the project? Hey, I'm just trying to help. That's all. Thanks, but no thanks. I should get back to work. You should leave it alone though. What? She should stop seeing herself as a victim and take charge. She needs to get back on track with her life. Now what is going on with you, Jay? I'm going to go before it leak again. Again? Oh, Min Yi? <laughs> it's really you! <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm here to meet the partners of this firm. Are you one of them? Oh, wait, silly me. You don't have a law degree. <laughs> Unless they gave you one in prison. <laughs> I think they're waiting for you in the meeting room. Oh. You should go. Is there an order? Um, which direction should I run, Miss Ho? Look, a word of advice. Know your place. You're not the COO anymore. <sighs> oh, one more thing. Two coffees, one black and one with cream and sugar. I'll let your boss know you'll be bringing the refreshments.
drops on my skin Still taste the scent of gin With every step I take I'm losing my way Reflections in the rain The sound of outbound trains Try to find the place where I went astray But every time I close my eyes Every time I need advice It's you It's you No more hiding in disguise You're showing me the colors of life Now I can't see clearly And now I see the real me the beauty of the streets I finally found the beat The sound of silence now I'm Miss Hong. My name is Zhong Ming and I got a company, Postec. I'm building a team and I see something special in you. I think you are a perfect employee number one. Thank you. Thank you. Just think about all the sacrifices you have made in the past 15 months. Time with Kai parents, your friends, always putting quotes first. It's also that this IPO can go through. Can I help you? Sorry. I think I took a wrong turn somewhere. But I think I know where I need to go now. Did you pack your windproof jacket? Socks? Yes, ma. You want to ask him if he has enough underwear as well? Come on, he's a grown man. Let him pack on his own. It's his first time alone in a new country. I'll be fine, Ma. For you. This is for emergency only. <laughs> cool. Thanks, Ma. Is that really necessary? Like Ma said, it's for emergency. But yeah, we've paid for everything already, right? Plus, we gave him a lot of cash. Don't worry about it. Hi. Just in time for dinner. How was school, Kai? Hey, Dad. Hey, you're back. So are you. Uh, Kai asked me over for dinner. Come, let's eat. Dad, sit next to me. It's okay, Mom can sit next to you. No, Dad, sit next to me. No plans tonight? If you don't get your social life back on track, you're going to end up not having one. It's okay, I'm having fun with this guy. Yeah, but you, you see him so often anyway. I would have thought that since I'm back, you'll be glad to have some time to yourself to um, hang out with friends, go for a nice dinner. Yeah, um, actually I forgot that I I actually have an appointment uh, right now, so I have to make a move, actually. But so Dad, sorry. you promised me to play video games after dinner. No, 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 okay. So sorry. It's okay. Thanks. I'll play games with you after dinner, Kai. No thanks. Kai, why don't you play some games with your mom later? I don't want to anymore. Did this? It's just for art class. They're pretty good, Sayang. Oh, come on. I thought you'd be more excited. You love art. Aren't you happy you improved? I guess. I'm just not enjoying art class like I used to. Since we got a new teacher. What's wrong with the new teacher? I'm sure she's not that bad, looking at the way you're sketching now. I am very proud of you, and I'm 
Shushi is too. Hey, if you hurry, we can get a donut on the way to school. You don't have to. Why not? Hi. Hi. What are you doing here? I thought I was supposed to send him to school today. He said you were busy. Let's go together. Mrs. Wang, you must have been so busy lately. I don't think I need to remind you on how important it is to start preparing now for the essay. I'm sure you're well ahead of the rest of us. Oh, Miss Chiang! Excuse me. Hello, Mrs. Ho. There was something I was hoping to speak to you about. Oh. Based on the success of our last event, I was thinking I would like to introduce you to some of my friends who have very rich husbands and have no problem spending their money. I'm going to be hosting a tea for these ladies. I'd like you to join us. I'm sorry, but I'm very busy. But I haven't told you when. I meant to say that I will be very busy in the coming weeks. Excuse me, I have a meeting to attend. Okay, bye, Dad. See you later. Have a good day at school. Hey, you have time for coffee? Sure. sure. I want to apologize for Kai's behavior recently, but you should know, he still really loves you. Sometimes I'm just not so sure anymore. He beat up the boy in your defense and even got sent to detention for it. If that's not love, I don't know what is. How about from now on, I take a step back? I'm sorry I've been so jealous about you and Kai. I just don't want to lose him. You never lose him. You're his mom. Actually, I was supposed to take him out this weekend. How about you take him instead? I would, but he'd probably think I'm stealing your time from him. Well, I can just tell him that I'm busy with my other 17 children. I may need a better excuse than that. Yeah. Thank you for being so generous. I just didn't think it would be so hard once I got out, you know, with Kai and the job. Is your new job tough? No. And that's the problem. I feel undervalued, underutilized, underestimated. But I'm going to change that. I've decided to help with Du's Project Greenleaf. Project Greenleaf? Are you guys planting trees now? What's that about? It's an initiative that helps ex-offenders rejoin society. I've got a marketing proposal with a two-year plan to help promote it and bring it to new heights. But first, I'm organizing a press conference with a select group of leading online media and news networks for the launch. Addendum to your plan, how about I bring Kai to the press conference so he can witness you in action and be awed by your magnificence. Excellent plan, Pinky. Next, we take over the world. Excuse me, you're Pinky. I'm the brain. Please. Okay, class, let's see your progression. Mr. Thing? Yes. I'm not sure if I'm doing it right. Well, there's no right or wrong. It's all up to one's interpretation. Is the thing, is it okay that my interpretation looks like this? Well, your interpretation could be that it grows on a different planet. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, could work. Though, you can try using lighter strokes when you want to create more shadows. Right? It'll be much more effective that way. 
Sí. I think I need to go to the toilet. You want me to be the face of what? Project Greenleaf. It aims to educate the public on why people like us deserve a second chance. What do I have to do? What we spoke about earlier. Just share your experiences and the difficulties in finding a job and convincing people why we deserve a second chance to begin with. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, come on, Sue. I think you'd be great for it. You're articulate, passionate, very likeable. I mean, why do you think I chose you to be my first friend in prison? Because we were stuck together in that cell. But seriously though, I'm not sure if I want to expose myself like that. My family has been through enough. Look, I understand completely. But just imagine all the people we could be helping. We can't change what we've done. But we can make something good come out of it. Well, I do think it's a great initiative. And I would be there with you every step of the way. Thanks. No problem. <laughs> Hi, Sayang. I'm not feeling well. Can you come get me, please? What's wrong? Are you okay? I just need to lie down and rest. Oh, okay. Um, you go and find a teacher first, okay? I'll call Daddy. Can you please come get me? I'm so sorry, Sayang. I really can't. I'll text Daddy right now, okay? Okay. Alright, bye. Bye. Hi. Hey. Morning. Morning. Um, so, um, this is a communications proposal that I prepared yep. for Project Greenleaf. Wait, does this mean...? I'm in. And I reached out to my ex, my friend. She'll be your face for your initiative. Min, this is... this is great. Are you sure you don't need to see a doctor? Yes. Are you hungry? No. Do you want to go? I think I'm going to try and sleep for the rest of the ride home. Sorry, I'm late, coach. Go we'll join the rest. <sighs> okay, let's start. It's not our fault. Amos had to stay back for his remedial classes. Being late is not going to help improve his chances, Mrs. Wang. Can you give him makeup practice? Because he can't attend tomorrow's training either. I can pay you for that. That's not the point. It is important that their place are both punctual and attends to every single practice. But the remedial classes are compulsory for him. I understand. But I can't promise it won't affect his chances in getting the DSA. But I've got no control over this. I'm just saying, the competition this year is very stiff. And there are a lot of good players out there. So you boil down to something like a good attendance record when the time comes to decide who makes the cut. Alright, let's go. Okay, keep it up, keep it up. That's good. Alright, keep your back straight, your posture. Alright, let's switch your back hand. Good, good, good. Miss Sim, I heard that the most effective teacher award is coming up soon. I might be able to help you get an edge. Hello, Mrs. Ho. Hi. I know you said you'll get back to me, but I'm really hoping you're free tomorrow. I... My friend, Mrs. Khaled, is interested in donating something like $100,000 to a school. And I told her she must speak with you before she approaches other schools. $100,000? That's very generous. Exactly. 
You said you had trouble securing laptops for students from less privileged families? Yes, I did. A hundred thousand could buy a lot of laptops and then some. Right? It definitely can. So you can make it tomorrow then? I'm sorry, it's last minute, but Mrs. Khaled is leaving for a holiday the day after. I'll work my schedule around it. Great! I'll text you the details. See you tomorrow. See you. Thank you so much for making time. No problem. So, I was thinking we can start with a photo slideshow of you when you were young, growing up, in school and all that. And then, how bright your future was. I'll get someone to narrate it. And then we can uh, just... Wait. Why can't she do it? I mean, wouldn't it be better for everyone to hear her voice? Yeah, I don't mind. Well, I just wanted it to come off more professional, seeing there'll be potential donors for my campaign and media presence. But, sure, we can let her do it as well. And after that, we'll get to our Q&A session where I'll ask you how difficult it has been since your release and then I'll get to pointers on how we can help others who are in your position. Okay, sounds good. Yep. Um, I think she should have a few minutes up there to talk about what she's been going through by herself. Don't worry, I'll make sure I cover everything in my questions. That's not the point. I mean, she speaks really well and I think a little speech from the heart would really send the right message across. I don't think it matters if she's up there on her own or with me. Are you afraid she's going to steal your spotlight or something? What? Of course not. Because I know this is part of your political campaign, but the initiative should be your main agenda. Yes, I do know that. You know, I've been thinking... We haven't had much alone time recently. So... What about after dinner we just... Go to bed early? Maybe. It's Winston. Ah, put him on speaker. Hi, Winston. Hi. You got that safe and sound? Hi, Ma. Yeah, we just got the dorms. All good there? Yeah, uh, listen. I was talking to my friends and everyone bought hiking boots for a hike tomorrow. I just had my normal sneakers. I, I think I need to get a boot. Can I use your credit card? You should have bought them here. I'm sure it's more expensive over there. Um, I, I, I didn't think of it, Ma. So can I? I guess it's okay. Hey, come on. I'm sure your sneakers are fine for where you are. It's not Everest. Besides, the credit card is meant for emergencies, remember? Oh, okay. Uh, I, I gotta go. I'll, I'll call you again. Bye. Bye. Take care. Why did you do that? What? I say it's okay to buy the boots. <laughs> just got there and already wants to use the emergency credit card. So your reasoning is that he wants to use it too fast? His sneakers are fine for where he is. I've checked the route he's gonna hike. It's not gonna be treacherous. We could have talked about it first before you said no. Oh, like how we talked about him going on this exchange program. That again? I've already explained it wasn't deliberate. Why are you so petty? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to upset you. Came over me. Let's just go back to our dinner, okay? I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Where did you say you were after again tomorrow? You're up? To France, tall cottage in France. Uh, it's been a while since we've been there. Cottage indeed. It has eight <laughs> bedrooms. <laughs> That's what the French call it. What about your summer beach hut in uh, California? The hut where you hosted a party for a hundred people? <laughs> I never called it that. It was Mrs. Smith who compared it to her 10-bedroom mansion. By the way, I hear it's a good time to buy in Greece now. I think we have gone off track for a little bit. We can talk about vacation homes another time. I mean, Miss Chiang is going to be due back in school soon. Uh, did you manage to have a look at the profile I sent you on Charleston, Mrs. Cullen? Yes, impressive. The thing is, my aunt passed away recently. She was an educator through and through. She was tutoring students in a home long after she retired. I was hoping that my donation could commemorate her in some way. On top of supplying laptops to the less fortunate students, your generous donation will go towards the refurbishment of the library. Perhaps we could name the new library after your aunt? 
That would be a lovely way to commemorate her. It's wonderful. I've always wanted to see my family name on a building or something. It looks so prestigious. I agree. If she were around, she would be so good. Don't you think so? I think that the 100,000 would go. Hey. Hey. Are you feeling better? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm oh, fine. I just don't want to go for art class anymore. But why? You're doing well. I... I don't like it. You don't just quit something because you don't like it. Especially when you're good at it. Are you quitting this conversation because you don't like it? Nabila! What? Whatever day you have had, you shouldn't take it out on her. I'm just tired. I'm worried about Nams. I think she's not telling us everything. Why do you say that? Just a feeling. Hi, Mrs. Hi, Mrs. Ho. I just wanted to let you know that the donation is as good as yours. You left in such a hurry, Mrs. Khalid didn't have a chance to tell you. I'm sorry, I had an appointment to go to. But that's good news. Look, is everything okay? I mean, I know I haven't known you for that long, but you just didn't seem like yourself today. I'm fine. Look, I know what's going on. You do? We should talk. Sure. Ah, uh, Dewi, kamu dah panggil Nabila untuk makan? Ah, iya pak. Katanya makan nanti. Come in. Come in. Miss Chiang, thank you so much for meeting with me. Of course, you made it sound like it was important. It is. I want to apologize if I've made you feel small or inadequate in any way. Sorry, I don't understand. I know what I'm like when I'm with my friends. I get carried away talking about our vacation homes and whatnot. I don't mean to come off as a snob. I was going on and on about how I knew so and so, how I must have sounded like to you. If I'm honest, I think I was trying to impress you. Impress me? Yes. I admire the way you conduct yourself with the students, the teachers, the parents. You set your mind on something, you make it happen. Which is why I was hoping that we could be more than just Ryan's mom and school principal. I would like very much for us to be friends. I'm sorry. I've just been dealing with something personal. Oh. Can I help you with anything? No. But thank you for offering. Right. I should go. Mrs. Ho. 
I really appreciate what you've done for Charleston with Mrs. Kelly. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, glad you could make it. Hey, everything okay? Yeah, we have a great media time. Wait, hey, we should start soon. Where's Sue? Uh, I'm sure she'll be here soon. I'll let you know when she reaches. Okay. okay? You know why mom is doing this, right? She's trying to help people who have gone through what she has. People who need another chance and making their lives better. I think she's really brave to do this, even though she's been going through such a tough time. Hey, you guys. Hey, you did great, right? Yeah. Hey, Min, um, the press is getting antsy. I'm afraid some of them might leave. What should we do? Um, leave it to me. Okay. okay. Hi, can I have everyone's attention, please? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we really appreciate you being here with us today. We understand that your time is valuable, uh, but we really hope you can give us a little bit more of it. We are waiting on an important guest who is unfortunately uh, running a little bit late due to unforeseen circumstances. I sing you a song in the hopes of entertaining you while you wait, but I'm afraid that would give you a good reason to leave. <laughs> in the meantime, uh, perhaps we can take some photos of Durrani Maslan, and she can take some questions. Thank you so much for being here and I'm so sorry for the delay. Let's take some photos and maybe I can answer some of your questions. Thank you. Anything I can do to help? It's okay. Is so still not here yet? She's not answering. I don't know, maybe she's in the MRT? She can't hear her phone? That's not exactly helping us show the community that ex-cons are reliable. That's a little uncalled for. I mean, we don't know what's going on with her. She could have a very good reason for not being here. Yeah, but what do we tell all these people, now, Min? Is that what you're worried about? How this would affect your political campaign? I don't like what you're implying. <sighs> you're not letting Sue talk in all of that. It just feels like you're making this initiative more about you than about the actual reason why we're all here today. You should know me better than that, Min. I would still be a little bit pissed if this was any other event that I organised and my guest of honour decided to flake on me. I think before you tell others to give ex-cons like me a second chance, you need to convince yourself first. You I would like to apologise for the misunderstanding earlier. We are all very passionate about being here and you know what they say, sometimes passion ignites fire. But more importantly, my colleague and my friend over here is out serving her last year of her sentence. I'm sure you guys have heard about community-based programming and therefore it is against the law to publish anything on her. Alright, thank you so much for being here and Sue will be arriving in 10 minutes but meanwhile, please help yourselves to the refreshments especially the curry puffs because I made those. <laughs> Crisis averted. I hope so. Do you took care of it? You'll be fine. It's not me. I just don't want Kai to have any more to deal with. Yeah. It's 
such a waste of a good story though. I wish I can publish something. Well, all may not be lost. What do you mean? Dreaming about kings being on their knees Looking up at me like they can't believe That I can be the tech what they took from me Cause all you ever do is pretend I'm wrong Watch you on the throne while I bite my tongue You don't even know what it's just begun I'm sick of all these talking down You'll respect me when I take this crown I'm gonna be the one who takes you under I'm gonna be the one who makes you hurt I cannot help that I'm both crazy and angry I wanna be a dark and evil queen